reincarnation of domination. Welcome everyone to the Incarnation of Domination live here on YouTube. Uh, every week a Hard Foundation member chooses a superstar. Mark surprises us with that superstar and we talk about our favorite versions. Who do we got, Mark? All right. Well, guys, we have uh, done this person already. Episode 20. But a lot of things have changed, Ooh. Uh, and I feel like it's very timely. And now that we're doing the pictures on YouTube, we're adding a whole new dimension to this. We're trying to this, kill D-Freedom. De- yeah. This week, we are talking at the suggestion of Jonathan Burgos, Sergeant Slaughter. Two great new Sergeant Slaughter I figures mean, that I think jump right to the top just came I out. mean, yeah, there they are. The, Let, the start- ultimate... The ultimate is the best slaughter of all time. Yeah, ultimate is is a great, great figure. I love it. I love the packaging. Right. I love everything about it. I love that there's also the black card packaging. Um, but that is based off a couple things. If you look at it, it's based off of this. Is why I love it. It's based off the LJN that never happened. So there's an mm-hmm. LJN uh, unreleased under slaughter. I have the prototype, but he never came like on an LJN card you know so it's cool to see it in an ljn style card but it's also based by the the, whether they want to admit it or not off the hasbro gi joe fake ljn slaughter of course yeah you know that to me it's more of that than anything Mm -hmm. or i mean that is what it is but it's on that ljn card you know but also that's why i think it's fascinating his his attire is very gi joe too it's straight up gi joe yeah so i I love it i'm not complaining about it my not that I don't like Sergeant Slaughter, but my memories of him, I missed like '80s heyday in GI Joe Slaughter, and to me, he's like Iraqi sympathizer, bad guy. So that's the first time I really was like, "Whoa, this guy!" You know? Mm. No, same know same he, with me. And then he's just like, yeah, old man USA, good guy. I'm like, eh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah, I hear you. I, 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 here, 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 here's you know my what? question for you. Commissioner Slaughter is a great figure. Oh, Commissioner Slaughter is a great figure. Rules that figure rules. Awesome yeah. figure. I was about to say this though. How old do you think Sarge was in like ninety two? Wasn't that on that list that came out a couple of years ago that like in ni- like you think he's so old but he's like younger than like Carl Anderson is right now? Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hold yes. As, yes. Yeah. Actually, the one that blew my uh, mind more was the ninety seven. Ninety seven when he when he's Commissioner Slaughter, and he does the match okay, with okay, Triple guys, H. Guys, guys. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> no, in like nineteen ninety two. When he like just turns like good guy. I want my country back. He's forty four. He's forty four. Okay. okay. Right. So he's not right. like so he's pretty old then. Right. Right. But I mean that's that, AJ Styles right now at the time. That's right. Really, that which AJ is like truly phenomenal. So I hate when people make that comparison. Like that's like everyone's go to one. But I'm like right. AJ Styles. He's literally like one in a million like there's not like sure no one even that's not like you know common mm-hmm. yeah what, what mm-hmm. his career or what he's done um, uh Jax has the the commissioner slaughter is awesome i do wish mattel would do a commissioner slaughter i think it would have to be like a, a if we're being realistic it would have to be like a build a figure though but they have to give him a bigger belly somehow that's that's what i'm saying it would have to be like a fun build a figure let's not forget the hasbro slaughter hasbro slaughter is I loved. I thought it was incredible. I think and that like, and like I said, might that's be, my first. That's my first introduction. Everything to him. about that figure is so perfect. Yeah, you know, it's just so no, great. I guess maybe the torso was reused for that second Duggan. Rather than that, that's every, it. That's yeah. That's a completely original figure, right? Um, and then Jax later on the class superstars. It's is it series two? Slaughter. Yeah, with the glued on and not glued on stuff, which was a big controversy. Which was a pain in the butt. There was a glued on and non glued on variant. Uh, great you, great figure. Got, when, when you re got that set, did you have to like get Lucy's and figure that out on your own? I only got one, and I don't know which one I got. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be. Ex- he was doing that so fast. My only thing would be it's been so many years, we don't know which. Was the running change? It was no, glue I first. No, it was running change into unglued. 
I don't know, man. Um, one thing one thing that I have to bring up was probably one of my favorite toys of all time as a kid is the Sergeant Slaughter little G.I. Joe. Yeah, but that doesn't count. No. We can't. Why does that, that not? Why like, does that not count? We're like, talking def- about Sergeant Slaughter figures. Definitely, definitely counts. Yeah, I mean, my brother had that like growing up. So like, there's I many variants of that. That too. Yeah. Uh, but as a GI Joe, as a kid who played with GI Joe and had yeah. no idea, really about his wrestling career. Yeah, yeah. At that that point, mid '80s, I had no idea. And, and uh, there's modern day like a bunch of releases of it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. yes. But. Man, I love that Sergeant Slaughter figure with the hat. He was so much better than everyone else. Like, I didn't know what was going on. He was my leader. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean that, that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, he's uh, such a great figure. I love that figure. I, yeah, In fact, I would love to get that one. That's like a white whale of mine. I, guess I would like, love to get when that. When we started this conversation, I was like, eh. But he does have a lot of good quality action I mean, figures. He's got the Iraqi sympathizer. Uh, Basic. From from the basic, then there's a Jax one two pack. You're right. The one that just kind of came out. Hmm. Um, um, I like. There's like that Hall of Fame one. I've always liked that one. That's my favorite one. I think. Really, the Hall of Fame Elite. It's like yeah. so simple that it's like good. I mean, the original uh, Legends. He's in Legend Series One. With like the blue pants and the, the white blue. That, tank. I feel like that's just too obscure. I think, or, well, that's when, like, they just got the license from Jackson. Bill was blatantly, and I get what he was doing. He was trying to make the figures so different than yes. the classic superstars. Yeah, so I think it's just too too far down the rabbit hole a little bit for me. Uh, for for me to, like, love that figure, yeah. There's the basic 69 where it's essentially the Hasbro figure with the black tank. Mm-hmm. So many so many figures. I mean, Slaughter is one of those guys where he's very just toyetic, but at the same time, it's like, well, how many times can you do him? But we've just named so many different versions. He's also, he crosses over brands, so, like, that's a big get. Like, how many other guys can you say that? Yeah, right. and he's been in so many. Think about all the wrestling lines. And he's always got something, yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool if, if like, uh, Mattel snuck him into, like, that new Remco-style line. I would dig that big time. And, yeah. and don't Wait, get the, the, the Valiverse. But, but he's got a He-Man one coming out. He he is in that line. I thought it was what? honky honky flare. No, he's he's saying he's in the He Man line. Oh yeah, like the Master of the Universe. I thought that line's over. Uh, but they have two series coming out. Oh, I thought I thought it was done. Uh, I'm looking at it right now to see if you can actually make it a Remco. Oh, to see if you can take off the He Man uh, parts. And- nah, his gauntlets are like spiky gauntlets. Yeah. It's pretty they cool. Just, they you could just change the arms around, probably. Do them right in in that new line. He's coming out, so they have the no. pieces, so they could get him in. Right. I'm just saying, do them like where he's completely wrestling. What about the the Toy Fair Jack Sergeant Slaughter, where it's blatantly a GI Joe, but instead of saying like USA, so it looks like G- the GI Joe, it has like the red, white, and blue stars instead yeah, of USA. Yeah. It's a yeah. cool one. I dig I it. That's fine. Yeah. I but what about the 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 one of one hundred heel Sergeant Slaughter, and then there's the a one of one, the one of twenty is employee. Soft goods beret on the heel one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I have both of those. The one of twenty, woof, or is it one of twenty five? Whatever it is, it's not twenty or twenty four. You're right. Man, uh, all right, that, here it is. Gun to your head, favorite one. What do you think? I'm going Commissioner Slaughter, bone crunching action, baby. Just because the uniqueness of it. I'm going uh, GI Joe original. Sergeant Slaughter. That's out gonna, of uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with this uh the Comic Con exclusive ultimate. It was one that It's went, so good, yeah. It's so good. And it's one when it when I saw the picture, even before I saw the picture, when I heard it was coming, I think when I saw the picture too, I was like, it's okay. But when I had it in my hand and I really like could see everything that went into it and I realized like what exactly it's it was. Good, it's, and, it's a complete package, yeah. Yeah, I I love that. It, what a what it a also great it's the first slaughter to have like alternate heads and hands and where you could really yeah. pose them and do something cool with them. Yeah, that makes a big difference. I dig it. A All right, guys. My uh my signed Hasbro says listen up maggot. That's like I mean, pretty priceless. He was also he was also uh the Broski of the Week one week and wore a Broski headband. At tribute to the troops. So, me and Sarge go way back. Oh boy. <laughs>